Happy Mask Monday. I got some eye masks today. I'm feeling so tired and my eyes are a bit puffy and they're a bit dry. They could just do with a bit of TLC. So we're gonna try these Garnier ones out. But it, before we dive into these masks, if you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. Please consider hitting the subscribe button before you leave and come and join our YouTube family. We are a lovely bunch. With that being said, pop the kettle on, pull up a chair and let's go. Like I said, today's masks are eye masks and they are the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb. It says eye sheet masks. It says they visibly reduce eye bags, brighten under eyes. They have hyaluronic acid and orange juice. And it says it gives you the minus four degree C cooling effect. <laughs> so I'm expecting ice cubes under my eyes. <laughs> and they could really do with some brightening and just cooling down there. They're feeling a bit sensitive today. Now I have found these masks in a couple of places. I have found them on Amazon for $1.95, which I think is quite a good deal. Um, but they are on sale. They're normally $2.99. And I've also found them on the Look Fantastic website from £2.35 and that's down from £2.99. So if you go £3 is going to be kind of like your average. And I've got some info for you. It says, awaken your eye contour with the hyaluronic acid and orange juice eye sheet mask from Garnier. The deeply nourishing tissue mask uses a potent combination of ingredients to replenish intensive moisture to the delicate skin working to brighten dark circles and providing a cooling effect well i have got some dark circles going on <laughs> today and um oh excuse me <coughs> frog's back and they could really do with cooling down so um yeah i'm hoping fingers crossed these work it says orange juice and hyaluronic acid work in harmony to reduce the appearance of under eye bags and soothe puffiness leading to a hydrated, revitalized and radiant eye area. I'm excited. <laughs> and the directions for this is to apply, take out and unfold the mask, separate the patches from the protective film. It says you gently apply the patches on cleansed skin, smooth the mask gently to ensure contact with the skin, adjusting the patches to the targeted under eyes. Leave for 15 minutes, remove the mask, gently massaging excess formula into the skin. For an even cooling effect, pop them in the fridge. I wish I had popped them in the fridge now. <laughs> So here is what the packaging looks like. I read the directions from my phone because on the back it is so small. <laughs> I'd need a magnifying glass to be able to read it. So let's pop these open. It says they are also biodegradable so you can pop these in the compost. I have already cleansed and toned my skin so we should be ready to go. These masks have slipped all the way to the bottom of the package. And there's no protective film inside. We have just got two masks stuck together, which isn't good at all. So I'm already displeased. So let's pop that one on there. These are huge, absolutely huge. Now I'm hoping orange juice is gonna be okay under the eyes. Have you seen how big these are? <laughs> they are absolutely massive, um, which is good. Slight sweet fragrance, doesn't smell of oranges, but it's it's sweet. I do have a mirror kind of going on down here like I normally do. So if you see me looking down, that is what I'm looking at. If you could see how huge these are. Now it's really strange using a tissue eye mask rather than the gels because I normally associate eye masks with gels. These are tissues and they are literally, if you can see there, taking up the whole eye area and this bit is quite big so it's kind of on my nose as well I think that's probably the best place that I'm going to get that I have tried to get as close up under my eyes as possible but I do not want this serum in my eyes <laughs> they're moving as I smile as well because they're covering the tops of my cheeks and um, they're cooling but I wouldn't say this was minus four degrees so I've got no ice cubes, but they um, they definitely feel like they're cooling the under eyes, which is, like I said, exactly what I need this morning. <laughs> it's like a <laughs> the meat on the top of my nose. <laughs> it's, 
it's kind of like a superhero mask this is really bizarre they are just I think they're way too big um, now it has hyaluronic acid in which my skin doesn't particularly like so I'm hoping it's not going to irritate I am feeling a bit of a tingle here but I'm not sure whether that's because it's cooling or because I'm having a reaction to the hyaluronic acid and I can feel these slipping already but we will give them a go give these the 15 minutes it says that you need to leave them on I think that's in place now I am gently pressing them in just to kind of get them onto the skin this just looks so strange <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh um, because I don't want them to move <laughs> but they just look so strange especially the way they're kind of joining up on the top of my nose <laughs> well if anything these are fun <laughs> so there we go I'm going to get in a bit closer just so you can see as you can see it's taken up the whole of the under eye area I can't really get right into the corners because these parts are quite big so they're kind of just meeting on my nose but there we go but they are really coming up it's got the whole contour area which I think is nice I'm going out to do a little bit of shopping later so I do need to be kind of depuffed okie dokie right so I'm going to leave these on for 15 minutes I'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea sort the laundry out hoping these don't slide down my face and I will check in with you, yeah, after 15 minutes. Wish me luck, guys. Welcome back. So these masks have been on for 15 minutes and my under eyes are really cool. I'm quite surprised. Um, and they've not really slipped much either. I think kind of once they've been on for a little while and they've started to dry, they kind of just adhere themselves to the skin. So I'm just glancing down in the mirror down here and I still look really funny. I look like um, one of the people from the Prince Charming music video from the 80s. <laughs> if you can go back that far, <laughs> you'll know what I mean. So I'm just going to get a bit closer and you can have one last look. As you can see, they are just absolutely huge. And we will take these off. These masks are still very wet. There is a lot of kind of serum in there. And we're just going to really gently I'm kind of not rubbing I find it very difficult to tap my under eyes so I'm gonna just kind of just wait until it gets a little bit tacky and then let it dry by itself um I don't know they look a little bit depuffed they feel brighter if you get what I mean um they feel more hydrated my dark circles are still there they're always gonna be there nothing is gonna kind of take them away but um yeah they've just given them the masks have just given my under eyes that boost of moisture that I think it needs um like I've said kind of many times in the in past videos I do have very dry under eyes um I have got a bit of serum in this eye it feels a bit strange but it's not stinging so that's good and um the tingling I had here I think it was just because it was cold um but no, I've not really had any reaction there. Let me know if you've used these masks. I'd like to know kind of what you think about them and if you've ever used them long term, because it might be one of those masks that you need to use kind of like once or twice a week, just see how they're getting on. Um, they've now gone quite tacky, so I'm just gonna leave that to sit. And I'm feeling, as it's gone tacky, it's the skin is pulling tighter, which is quite cool. <laughs> <laughs> what I could always do with some um, extra tightness <laughs> under the eyes yeah so it's okay it was a nice pleasurable experience like I said the my under eyes were puffy this morning they did need sort of like you know that hint of that hit of hydration and coolness so I'm, I'm quite pleased and I think you know for the price what I paid for them it's not bad it's not bad at all you know they're really cheap so yeah um I've noticed that Garnier have more kind of eye masks in their range so I might pick some different ones up in the future um, let me know in the comments below what your favourite eye masks are I want some recommendations to try some new ones thank you for joining me again today and I hope to see you again soon in the meantime lovelies please take care bye bye